Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today we have the big headers on, which is super exciting. I'm shifting gears now to third. We're gonna go up past Katrina's and I'm going to road my combine to our spring wheat field. This has a 35 foot header and that's the biggest header I've ever run. I think my 9610 had a 30 foot straight cutting header but I'm very excited and it's always hard the first day going to the big headers but once you get used to them it's pretty simple. You definitely have to pay a lot more attention and be very careful because big header, big mistakes. All right, I'm following my dad. I have to be really careful of road signs. Now my 9610, I didn't have to weave through too many road signs, whereas these headers are way too big. You have to weave through every road sign. My dad's header is 40 feet and we've only got two combines running for spring wheat because we only have two big headers. So that's why our third will not be going. I think your header tilt is at an angle, Mark. Oh, it does look like that. My big header does not have header tilt, so that's good. That's just another thing I don't have to worry about. The header feels so heavy on the front of this combine. I'm on just a small downhill slope, and I have to have my hydrostat back a little bit. Wait, I have to check to see if Mark has his radio. I've got my radio right here, and I might take it down. On the big headers, we have something called a cutter bar, and it's basically it looks like combine teeth. That's what I like to call them. And they move back and forth like this super fast, and that's what cuts off the bottom of the stem of the wheat in order to put it into the combine. And then we have these belts that move the wheat from each side of the header to the inside part that will take it to the back and to the concaves which help break apart the straw from the grain kernels. Then the grain kernels drop onto the sieves which sifts out any chaff or wheat straw that might still be mixed in and then the good kernels are augered up to the grain tank and the rest goes out the back of the combine. I have to go get Mark's radio, it's in the house I guess. <laughs> There's a big ditch off of this really thin road out of the yard, so I'm a little bit nervous for it. I just have to be really careful. Got a copy, Kate? Yes, I have a copy. Kate, you got a copy? Yes, I have a copy. Can you hear me? Mark, you could go over by Katrina and go over to the schoolhouse and then across. You don't have to go on the highway. No, I'm going to go on the highway because these things are hard enough to get around. Got a sign coming up, but it's already completely bent almost to the ground, so I shouldn't have to worry about it too much. You could do that all stubble if you wanted to go behind Katrina's house and up that stubble strip. I'm going down a pretty big hill, but getting up it is going to be the hard part. When roading combines and you see a big hill, I always wait till the other combine in front of me is up the hill before I go down it. So if anything happens, that we are not both stuck at the bottom of the hill. Can you hear me, Chris? Yeah, I can hear you. Is this a different radio then? Same radio, I just put it back on there. Another road sign, but it's also almost bent to the ground because of headers, although I really do have to move be able to avoid this one still. This will be the only combine running today because my dad's combine header is completely tilted and it's pretty bad, so we don't know what's happening. Now we have to go around these little signs and posts. Oh gosh, there's one on this side and then one directly on the other, so you have to weave this way and then this way. You gotta do slalom turns in your combine. It looks like we're not going on the highway. We are roading through one of our fields. So I'm just going on to the field approach here. Can you hear me now, Kate? I've always been able to hear you. Can you hear me? So when we come off this road and go into that next field, that's one of them bump things. You wanna go real slow so your header don't start to rock and roll, you know what I mean? Yes. Bring the pickup up to the highway by the road. Yeah, we're gonna go through the field down to the schoolhouse anyway. We are driving through all of our fields to get to the schoolhouse. We own this one, then the next one, and the next. We can do that. We're not driving through neighbors' fields. 
now we're crossing onto another field to travel to the schoolhouse. Pretty big bump going through the field road here, so I have to be careful. My dad will probably take a couple of passes with me in this combine because this is the biggest header I've ever run before. And also the buttons are a little different, so I have to get used to that. With pickup headers, you don't use nearly as many buttons. Now we're driving on our summer follow, and then we are just about to start driving on the stubble that we picked up this year. We've got our other combine that will not have a straight cutting header on it parked here at the schoolhouse. We just made it here. This is also where the 15 grain bins are. There's a grain cart moving on the road right now, so we won't be able to go for a little bit. I think there's a bunch of combines coming behind this cart. Oh, there is. I can see at least one. There's combines coming now, so we're just going to wait for a little while. Two combines definitely don't want to meet on the road. There was one time last year where we had, oh gosh, it was a combine traffic jam. Six, seven, maybe even eight combines all right on the same road. It was crazy. Looks like something else is coming down the highway here. Yeah, there's a combine or something. We could go across and up to stubble strips so you don't have to weave like that combine's doing. You have to weave in and out of the little reflector signs on the side of the highway. That's always a bit challenging. It's a combine slalom course. This combine's got a flag on it, Kate. Really? That's cool. I don't even see the combine yet. Driving it like he's in the Indianapolis 500. My dad just said he, this guy's driving his combine like he's in the Indianapolis 500. That's hilarious. Oh wow, the combine going by has a Montana flag. Oh, he is driving fast. Too, wow, this is cool. And it's a girl running it, Kate. Very cool. There's a pickup coming, Mark. I always love seeing other girls driving combine because you don't see it very often and there should be more women in agriculture and I hope to help inspire other girls to be a part of agriculture. It's a very important industry and one that needs more women. Do I go or wait? You can go now after this truck pass and field and sneak over where we're going. So it looks like we're going to try and drive on our field so that we don't have to drive on the highway. Don't hit the mailboxes, federal crime. <laughs> I'll try not to hit the mailboxes. Just set up in the shade of that red truck there. It looks like we won't get started before lunch. I'm going to take Darcy up to get the disc. We're almost to our spring wheat field. We might try it before lunch to see if it's even going to be ready to harvest. We think it might be too green. We're not entirely sure. If we had it swathed, it would have been ready. We're just going to try it and see how it goes. We're crossing a little bit bigger of a coulee here, so I have to be careful. My dad's header is so tilted that the left side's in the ground on this coulee which is why we can't harvest with it today. Might want to shift in a second for that, Kate. Thank you. I'm super glad my dad let me know that I should shift in a second because that would have been bad if I didn't. So I have to lift my header with still giving it float room. Slow down. Oh. And I made it through. Now I'm shifting back into third. Austin, do you have a copy? I do. Come out for lunch. We're a mile west of the schoolhouse and take the left. All right, I'll be out there shortly. Now I'm climbing back onto the road on this approach here. What gear are you in, Dad? What was that, Kate? What gear did you just put it in? I had to get out of that hole. I had to put it in second to get out, and then I put it in third so I can go down the road again. Yeah, I needed to put it in second too. I definitely should have. I can't climb onto this approach if I'm not in second. I should be able to make it now. Yep. Now third again. Oh, we're doing the field where I broke the wheel off two years ago. So, well, I didn't break the wheel off the combine. It kind of just fell off. A bearing went out. That tractor start, Darcy? Oh, we're not starting in this field. We're starting. Yeah, right, right up. We're starting in the one over there. Okay. Watch the header in the post, Kate. Yeah, I definitely would not want to hit the power line pole. I'm putting it in the 3500 bushel bin to save some for seed. We can put one in that white truck or that red one. Yeah, maybe get the corners out of them. 
corners out of the white and that other one of yours, that red and white one won't start, so it's the corners out, out of that. So that's okay. I'm lining up to my dad's combine to park for lunch.